Hey there! In today's guide, we will provide you with step-by-step -step instructions on how to configure your wireless router to the Opticom network. These instructions apply specifically to the TP-Link VX230V wireless router. If you have a different router model, keep in mind the steps may be a little bit different. Firstly, you will need to locate the SSID and password of your TP-Link router. This is located underneath the router and looks something like this. The SSID refers to the Wi-Fi name. You may have received an Activate Me Wi-Fi name and password that will look something like this. On your desktop, click the Wi-Fi symbol on the bottom right of your screen. A list of available Wi-Fi names will appear. Referring back to the Wi-Fi details provided, locate the corresponding Wi-Fi name and password. Whatever one appears is the one you will need to connect to. If your router has been reset, it will be the TP-Link details. Type in your wireless password that has been provided to you and click Next. Your device is now connecting to the TP-Link VX230V. Remember to be patient. This process can take up to one to three minutes to complete. You will notice it will state no internet connection. This is to be expected as your router needs to be configured. So let's get started. Navigate to your preferred web browser. In your browser's URL, type in the IP address for the VX230V. This will be 192.168.1.1 or tplinkmodem.net. Type in your password to log in to the router settings. If this is the first time accessing your router settings, it will prompt you to create a password. The VX230V Quick Setup will allow you to configure the router for any type of Activate Me internet service. Today, we will be showing you how to configure your VX230V to the Opticom network. Select your appropriate region and time zone and click Next. From the ISP list, select Other and click Next. Ensure the L2 interface type is selected as EWAN. The internet connection type should be PPPOE. You will need to enter your username and password. This information will be provided to you in your Activate Me Welcome Pack. It will look something like this. You guessed it, click Next. Configure the Wi-Fi name and password as necessary. You can choose to either keep it as is or create your own unique Wi-Fi name and password. My personal favorite is Pretty Fly for a Wi-Fi, but we will leave that up to you. You can also opt in to enable band steering, which allows the router to automatically allocate devices to either 2.4 gigahertz or five gigahertz frequency. Only one Wi-Fi name and password will need to be configured if this feature is enabled. Let's move on to the next step. If you made any changes to the default Wi-Fi name and password, this page will appear. Keep in mind, if you changed your Wi-Fi name and password, you will need to reconnect to it again using the custom information. Similarly to the start of this video, click the Wi-Fi symbol in the bottom right corner and enter the details to connect. The router will now perform a connection test and advise if the connection was successful or not. If the test is unsuccessful, you can use this opportunity to check things such as cabling or the optical network terminal status and click try again. If successful, click next. You will now be provided with a summary page. This will show the configuration information whether or not the service is online and the Wi-Fi details. When you have reviewed this information, click Next. The VoIP setup page will now appear. If you have a VoIP service, click the Add button and follow the prompts to set up. If you do not have a VoIP service, click Next to skip this step. A congratulations message will appear when you are all set and connected to the internet. That's all there is to it. You can now start browsing the internet. 
Thanks for watching today's How To Guide. If you need further assistance, please feel free to contact the Activate Me support team on 132288. Have a great day.